All right, guys, welcome back to the Blast Zone. Today, we got a very special video. We have the entire Hasbro collection here. All the Hasbro four generations are sitting right in front of me. In this video today, I'm gonna be showing you my 10 best Beyblades from Hasbro, in my opinion. What I want you guys to do is comment your 10 best and your opinion down below. All right, when it comes to judging these top 10 Hasbro Beyblades, we're gonna be judging it by using four criteria. Number one is design, number two is performance, number three is engineering, and number four is gimmicks. So number one, we got design. What design is, is how cool the Beyblade looks. Cause you know, when you battle, you wanna look pretty cool. How I choose my Beyblades is mostly on design, I'm gonna be honest. Like it could be a bad Beyblade as long as it looks cool. So number two, we have performance. What performance is, what's the ratio of winning and losing when you use this Beyblade? How good is it in battle? Are the attacks strong? Is it boring? The third is engineering. Engineering is how well the parts work together into making the Beyblade burst or not burst. A Beyblade is more easy to burst. The engineering is most likely bad. All right, and the fourth criteria is gimmicks. Let's get into the top 10 Hasbro Beyblades. All right, so here are the different generations we're gonna be covering today. The first generation we have is Hypersphere. Now, this is one of my least favorite generations because they're known for having kind of a round tip, which has like no gimmicks, which kind of ruins my mood. Cause you know, I like gimmicks. I like to add some fun in the battle. All right, so the next generation we got is Switch Strike. This is by far my favorite generation here because these Beyblades are more powerful and they come with more of a hit. So the next generation we got is Sling Shock. This is my second favorite uh, generation we have here. Every Sling Shock you see right here has a tip with a gimmick on it. That's what kind of makes the battle more interesting. All right, so the final generation we have for today is Speed Storm. It is the newest generation out. Speed Storm is actually pretty good. I do not have a problem with it. This is more of the new uh, sort of techie Beyblades that are coming out. All right, so now that we've gone over every single generation here, I'm gonna pick the 10 best Hasbro Beyblades right here in my opinion, and we're gonna be putting them in my Blast Zone pouch to battle some of them to see which one's the best in my opinion. Now, if you guys wanna see every single choice I choose, be sure to stick around to the end of this video because they are pretty surprising choices. Let's get into it. Hey guys, so for the battles, I took them into my studio because uh, it was getting a little rough outside. We got the 10 Beyblades picked out. I'm about to show you each and every one of them and why I picked them. All right, so number 10 Beyblade, we got Nightmare Lunor. Now, I know you guys are probably shocked that I picked this Beyblade, but I picked it for a couple of reasons because this Beyblade actually was was in one of my most viral videos, which was uh, where I had a nightmare, and it was like where Nightmare Lu Lunar took all my Beyblades. It was one of my first viral videos, so it is a pretty good memory. And also, because this Beyblade is also pretty decent, and the ninth Beyblade is, we got Mirage Fafnir. Now, the reason I picked a Fafnir is because I feel like you always want a spin steel Beyblade, and Fafnir is a spin steel Beyblade. It actually has rubber on it. You could basically hand spin it, and you could still win. So yeah, that's number nine. All right, I'm gonna battle these two. First to two points. You know what's cool about this battle is that they're both left, but I'm still gonna go with Longinus because he's cooler than Fafnir in my opinion. But Fafnir is a taller Beyblade. 1 0 for Fafnir. All right, 1 0 Fafnir, 3 2 1. Let's go. Let's go, Moon. Yeah! 1 1. Final battle. Why is Lunor so weird to launch? We got a 2-1 from Fafnir. All right, we're going on to number eight. We got Dusk Valkesh. Now this is a Hypersphere. You know how I feel about Hypersphere. I'm not, I don't really like it as much as the other generations, but Valkesh is one of the best. Now we got number seven, Command Dragon. Now you know why I picked Command Dragon. I actually really like Command Dragon because it's just big. It's like a sumo Beyblade and it's a Hypersphere too. Very good Beyblade. This should be an interesting battle. Left versus right. Three, two, one. Alright. Okay. 1-0. Command Dragon. I have not seen someone beat Valkesh in a very long time. So this might be the first. Alright, it's 1-0 Command. Three, two, one. Alright, I don't know what's happening, but there's a lot of ring outs. 1-1. One, one, Valkesh got him back. One, one, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Valkesh, two, one. I had my hopes really high, but they're hypersphere and they move very fast with these weird tips. All right, the sixth best Hasbro baby we got is Turbo Achilles. It's a slingshot. 
and two because Achilles is one of the most popular Beyblades in Beyblade right now. And number five, we got Turbo Spies in S4. This is one of your heavier slingshot Beyblades, so it will burst the average light Beyblade. So you want to rip. All right, I put them both in attack mode to see what happens. I do not want to see ring outs. All right, so they're both in attack mode right now. It's basically going to be the strongest attacks wins or it's going to be a spin finish, but let's see. It's really hard to beat this Sprising because it is very heavy and has a lot of stuff on it. So it's kind of like a, it's like a tank. So 1-0, we got a spin finish for Sprising. I put them in more, I put Achilles in a more calm mode to see what happens because he's, he's a little too active for my liking, but let's see what happens because they're both, I did both change their tips. I, Achilles might win. I do think Achilles will win because he is better than Sprise in my opinion. Final battle 1-1. One, one. I'm rooting for Achilles on this one. Good. They're not really the, the type of bay weight combination to like really heavy hits. But right now if Achilles keeps this up, he's not going to win. Sprise is in stamina mode. Sprise did win. One. And now for the fourth, we got Turbo Valtrek. You guys know why I chose this Beyblade. It's a Valtrek. I really do think this is one of the best designed Beyblade burst Beyblades ever made. And we need a good attack type, a strong attack type. This is like a tank and switch strike. Now the third Beyblade we got is Kanox C3. Now you guys may be wondering why I chose this, but it's because of the bearing drive. When I did World Cup, I actually did in fact use this bearing drive and it did help me get past close to the finals. Okay, so that is exactly why I chose Kanox. It is going to be a very interesting battle. Three, two, one, the rip. I have not used Kanox in a hot minute. Why is it so attackative? I remember Kanox used to just sit there. Okay, if this does happen where it just sits there, uh, Valtrek might lose because he does not have stamina like Kanox. Or not. First finish for Valtrek. Turbo Valtrek did win. 2-0. All right, we're down to the top two Hasbro Beyblades in our Blast Zone pouch. Remember, if you want your Blast Zone pouch, link in the description below if you want to cop one of those. Last two Beyblades we got, we got Glide Rock Devour. This certain Rock Devour is one of the best speed storms out right now. It has beat almost every single speed storm. So that is exactly why I chose this Beyblade today. So right now, in front of your eyes, guys, we got the number one Hasbro Beyblade, in my opinion. What I want you guys to do right now is comment down below what's your favorite Hasbro Beyblade. Ta-da! We got Wyvron W3. Now, I know you guys may be like, what? But I have a story. I have a story behind this, why I chose this Beyblade. About three years ago, when World Cup started, it was 2018. This was the last Beyblade I used that got me to the semifinals. It was in the front stage. I remember it is in my World Cup video. The reason why I picked it is because the engineering is amazing on this Beyblade. It has a rotating disc, which kind of helps it defend attacks and attack pretty good. And also because the tip is extremely good. It was a pretty cool Beyblade and it did get me very far in life. So we got to thank him. He's my favorite. Let's go. I'm going for Wyvron. Why are these Beyblades so fast? They used to just sit there. Rock Devour is a very good stamina type. It's obviously way bigger than Wyvron. It's like an Oreo cookie. Wyvron's kind of smaller than that. But Wyvron does have that rotating disc which will help maybe defeat Rock Devour. It's a long shot though because Rock Devour is way heavier than Wyvron is right now. Wait. Rock Devour takes it barely. 1-0 Rock Devour is winning. Uh, I'm really hoping for Wyvron to win, but it's going to be pretty tough. In my opinion, probably Rock Devour is the best bait weight out of these 10. Maybe better than Valkish. We have not tested that. But maybe, maybe Wyvron beats him. It's a long shot. But in my opinion, Wyvron is the underdog in my Beyblade collection. So he might come back. If Hasbro ever did have a World Cup, I know which Beyblade to use. <sighs> Rock Devour is just the sweat. You know, we got a 2-0. Rock Devour takes it. Now that does conclude every single one of the battles with each 10 of my favorite Hasbro Beyblades. All right, here are my top 10 favorite Hasbro Beyblades judged by the four criteria. I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you guys do agree with me on some of these Beyblades, let me know in the comments, and also let me know what your favorite Hasbro Beyblade is, because I know there's a lot of cool ones. All right, this is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, so you're notified every time I put out new content. More content will be coming out, so be ready. I'll see you guys. Bye, guys. Have fun.